Uh, I will talk about energy, not nuclear energy. I will talk about energy you need to live your life, to do your job, even to relax. Uh, because even when you relax, you still use your energy. And you need a lot of this because the world is fast and it's getting ever faster. And uh, you definitely need a lot of energy to find your place in this world changing all the time, changing every year, every five years. But have you ever thought about how long are you going to live? And the statistics says that people who are in this room right now, on average, should live for some 70 years. And 70 years is quite a lot. So if you want to get the perspective uh, how you spend those 70 years, another set of numbers says the following. You spend one third of your life sleeping. It's 33%. Then you spend some 12 years working, 12 years doing nothing. You look for the things you've lost for approximately one year of your life. But unfortunately, you kiss only for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a lot of energy required to deal with everything happening around you. And it would be nice to have some simple role a kind of guide to help you manage your energy, respect it, get it back. And one of the better known principles is called Pareto principle. And it simply says that 20% of your effort should or gives you 80% of results. And uh, my idea today, the idea we're spreading, is to give you some hints how to use this principle to go through those 70 years, enjoy it, and have exactly this energy for 70 years, not only for today, for tomorrow, for another week. And let's start with one or first example. Technology is set to change every second year, every three years. So basically, over your lifetime, you will witness 10, 20, maybe more changes. And uh, people often think that technology is only helping us. Yes, that's right, it's helping us, but it also creates its own problems. Uh, it needs another technology to manage it. You have to learn it, you have to unlearn it. It's getting faster, faster and faster. And uh, it changes all the time, whether you want or not. And you can use it to your advantage. And one way using the Pareto principle is to focus on some 20% important things for you and use technology to make you better, make doing those things easier. Or you can pick 20% of things which are not very useful for you because it may be easier than to pick 20% of the most important. And uh, I guess that if you think about it, technology could, should serve you. It's not only about making things better and faster. Why not use it to give you some more time to meet with people, to spend time face to face, not face to screen, spend time face to book, a normal book. And uh, OK, so you burned quite a lot of energy choosing 20% which is important, or just throwing away the other 20%. So how can you gain some of this energy back? There is one very simple, working very well, and pretty easy way to do it. You must sleep. Because when you are asleep, there are two things working for you automatically. You actually don't have to do anything. And one is that you use 10% less of your daily energy when you are active. And second, this is the only time when your body can recover, can fix 
something which is broken, you truly relax. So next time when you want to stay late, uh, way too late, just think about it. But this is quite an easy way to gain energy, respect yourself, because you need it for 70 years, not only for tomorrow. And trust me, this is something serious, because you can die as fast from lack of sleep as you die from lack of drinking water, eating. But now you think, OK, it's all roses, yes? You pick 20%, which is important, throw away another 20%, sleep enough, but this is now how life works. There are periods that simply push you quite a lot. You need a lot of energy because there is so much going on, something is important, and you run fast. And uh, I guess that a good example to show that it's possible to put a lot of energy into something, to create something big, something lasting, something which you will remember is mountain climbing. Climbers are usually admired for going beyond limits of human body, facing risks, just to get to the summit. And when you climb serious mountains, the summit may be pretty high, at the level of airplanes flying. <laughs> and uh, to give you an example of how much energy it requires, just think that the summit ascent, the last shot, as we call it, to, to reach the summit, it's the same amount of energy as you use over your entire week. But every climber will tell you one very simple thing, the sacred rule. It's not about putting all your energy to climb the summit. It's about putting your energy to climb the summit and get safely back. So next time, think about it, because it's those 70 years, you can obviously push a lot, go the extra mile, but please get back, get back home. Get back home from your work. Go out. Remember, over your lifetime, you spent 12 years working and 12 years doing nothing. You have quite a lot of choice. And uh, now when I burn, I guess, some of your energy for today, uh, I would like to ask you to just sit back and relax and close your eyes. But please do it. Okay? And now think that you turned blind, you lost your sight. <laughs> because when you lose your sight, according to medical literature, you lose 80% of your perception. Some people even say 80% of your abilities. So when I lost my sight, I lost 80% of my perception. I was left with 20%. And I managed to have a rather normal life sometimes pretty adventurous. It's even possible to play golf. And what I want you to remember and think about right now is what you will do tomorrow because you still have this 